Assalamu alaikum everyone. Welcome to a brand new YouTube video. It has been a while since I've uploaded one over here. But what I wanted to talk about today, what I wanted to start was a new series where I am going to be giving some kind of wisdom, some kind of guidance on things that have helped me develop as a person, develop into the person I am today. So this series will be called Wisdom with Bob. So the first topic of discussion that I wanted to take was sports and hobbies and the lack of thereof, where I feel like nowadays, today's generation just does not really have many hobbies, does not play many sports, does not even go outside their own house because they are too busy scrolling across Instagram, scrolling on TikTok, watching all these people just do whatever they are doing. I just feel like a lot of people, a lot of kids nowadays are just wasting their life away and they are not doing things that will really help them develop into a person or develop different skills and aspects that will help them into their future life, into their professional life. So but let's take sports, for example. Let's take football. Let's take cricket. Let's take rugby. The common theme with all of these is that they are team sports. So you're working with your teammates towards a common goal. So you're forming a friendship. You're forming a brotherhood, a sisterhood. You're form forming a camaraderie towards a common goal, which is to win that particular game, win that championship, win that tournament, etc. Now, how does sports and working with teammates towards a common goal actually develop you as a better person for the future? I'll give you an example where you are working in a big corporation and you are working under a tiny department over there where that tiny department is responsible for a particular goal. You are trying to make sure along with the other people in your department, your teammates, you are trying to make sure that that department flourishes. And if that department flourishes, the company flourishes, the CEO looks at you, they're like, oh, wow, okay, fine. This team did really well. Great. Let's give them a raise. Let's do this, blah, blah, blah. Again, this is a very random example, but I hope you understand the point I'm trying to make where sports is not just giving you the mental and physical benefit, but it's also developing a lot of skills to dealing with other people, helping each other, making sure that you are all working towards that common goal, working towards that common goal together is the most important thing. So that's where I feel like a lot of kids really need to pick up sports early on to make sure that they develop those skills and they develop the ability to work with other people to get better together. Now, the other thing that I wanted to discuss was hobbies. I feel like hobbies nowadays, people have none and it is maybe either because they are too lazy or they just don't want to devote the time to a particular hobby. I'll explain the benefits of why hobbies are very useful. Now, I'm going to give the easiest example of the guitar because that comes naturally to me, where I want to speak about how initially I was very horrible with the guitar. I picked up a guitar. I picked up literally that one all those years ago. I believe it was probably about 14 or 15 years ago where I started play playing the guitar. And for me, initially, when I just saw any kind of YouTube video where I was trying to learn, my hands just didn't know how to function. My right hand was doing something else. My left hand wanted to do something else. And my brain was telling me all sorts of things. So that is where it was a struggle for me at the start. But as I kept practicing, as I got better, I started to feel better about myself as well, where I was improving my brain function. I was improving my hand-eye coordination. And again, these are all skills that then translate into everyday life as well. A lot of these elite athletes nowadays are doing multiple things. They're a jack of all trades. They are doing different kinds of sports. They have different kinds of hobbies. They may be playing a musical instrument. And that's not because they just have a lot more time than you. That's just because they devoted more time to that thing rather than just watch a movie, watch some Netflix, watch a show, and just scroll through Instagram and waste their life away. So that is where trying to devote some time, trying to devote some effort into developing a hobby, developing a skill is very beneficial for you in terms of developing much better brain power, hand-eye coordination, your brain function is getting better, your cognitive function is getting better, you're starting to feel better about yourself when you actually achieve that particular skill, when you start to finally hit that note on the guitar in a much better way than you were a few years ago. All these things are very beneficial to you in developing as a person and developing those skills to translate into doing better things in the future. So I hope that video was useful to you guys. Please like, subscribe, share this video to someone you may feel who may find it useful. And 
I will see you guys in the next one. I hope you guys enjoy this video. If you have any feedback, please comment down below. And I will see you, inshallah, in the next one. Take care. Bye.